Baker Snyder just talked about the Flint water crisis we're learning. And 7 Action News investigator Jim Kurtzner is live with the very latest. Jim. The governor signed this executive order last night. He did make it clear that his request for FEMA assistance is just to coordinate what might be available from the feds, but he controls the National Guard. So I asked him specifically, how many personnel are we talking and how long will they be in Flint? Here's his answer. With respect to the National Guard, we're starting with the range of about 30 people to begin with. But again, we're assessing that on a regular basis to say, do we need more resources? How long do we need the resources? We're still ramping this up in terms of making sure we keep those fire stations fully stocked. We started door to door yesterday. That went well in terms of all reports I got. Um, and again, we want to do more and more. The idea is to cover the, all the households in Flint in terms of access to water and filters. Now, you heard the governor say, we're still ramping this up, but this comes one full week after he declared the emergency. That was after the emergency was declared up in Flint by local officials as far back as October. So the mayor is, or the governor rather, is still on the defensive over this. One of the problems we saw up in Flint yesterday was they're not delivering the supplies they promised. There's plenty of bottled water. There's somewhat of a supply of filters. They've also promised home test kits for people people to test for lead in their body. Those have been nowhere to be found. I asked the governor about that. He said, we're doing the best we can. He wouldn't take any questions about how he has been called a failure. He took a few questions and then left. We're going to continue to ask these tough questions. Live in Dearborn, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Yeah, I want to get those lead testing kits to those families as quickly as possible. Thank you, Jim. Our team coverage of the Flint water crisis continues now with 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson, who just arrived in Flint. Jonathan? Yeah, good afternoon. We're here at a fire station in Flint, fire station number three, which is one of the water resources sites. You can see the sign right there instructing residents that this is where they need to come to get some of that water and some filters from the National Guard. Now, I want to bring in one of the local residents here. You actually just came and tell me what you got and why. Oh, well, we, they gave us two waters, and I got one for my grandmother and for me um, because the water is really damaged. So how concerning is this all for you? Oh, this is very concerning. It's... Um, you really like scared because you're really scared to drink the water. So, and not only that, you're scared to bathe in it. So, so does it help that the National Guard is here? Almost oh, definitely. Yes, I, I, that's a good support. So, yes. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. So, again, we just arrived on scene here. Uh, the National Guard is at this site. They're going to be passing out filters, as you just heard. And uh, we saw packages of bottled water to residents who are coming up here to get it. Uh, you need to come to these sites where the National Guard is. But, again, they're at this site on MLK here in Flint Fire Station number 3. We're going to go inside. We're going to talk to them about their plan of action and bring you the latest at 4, 5, and 6. For now, we're live in Flint. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right, thank you for that live update. Jonathan. We'll stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for the very latest on the Flint water crisis.